Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for May 5th, 2022. Holy moly, did we have a active day yesterday as Jerome Powell took a 75 basis point um, interest rate um, off of the table for the near future, at least, and the market loved it. We surged hard yesterday, uh, triggering a massive short squeeze that pushed us up toward resistance levels in the chart and even testing some of the technical levels in the chart. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can decide what we're going to do today with this wild volatility in the market. Well, first off, let's take a look at what happened yesterday. Big surge in the market. And as you can see in here, we bounced off of these support levels strongly. Unfortunately, we didn't fix anything just yet. We rallied right into the price resistance level here in the chart. And as you can see, if I were to drop a line across here, that is a very substantial price resistance level in the Dow. So although that was a wonderful thing to see, a nice little relief rally, we also have to you know, kind of consider that overall our downtrend is still in play. And we can't rule out those bears just yet. So watch that closely as we push up into this resistance level to see if we can follow through today to the upside. Right now, futures are looking just slightly lower here on the day. We'll keep a close eye on that um, as we progress throughout the morning, but watch that carefully. Now, our technicals in the chart, we rallied right up and we almost smacked our head into that 15-day moving average. But you will want to notice that even though yesterday's big move turned that 50-day moving average to just hook it to the upside a little bit, you'll want to notice that the 34 and 20 EMA are right there to continue to provide some resistance in the chart. So technically, we didn't break any resistance levels either. We just kind of relieved a whole lot of selling pressure here in the market. So watch that carefully. Now, if we take a look at the SPY, SPY, very similar. We rallied up strongly. We did challenge resistance in the chart, okay, but we didn't break through. Unfortunately, we couldn't get that uh, final push to break through. And we do have to remember we have uh, tremendous resistance above that as well. And so our overall downtrend in the market is still there. So I think we can't you know count out those bears just yet and um, as a matter of fact i think the bears will still probably remain pretty feisty because remember 50 basis point increases in um, rates is no little matter and uh, 50 basis points over the next two months is no little matter and that will slow the economy so watch that closely could be an interesting um, battle here going on in those bulls and bears and if we take a look at our um, technicals here in the chart well doggone it we didn't even come close to that 50-day moving average here yesterday so we've got a lot of work to do to push up into that resistance level here in the chart and let's notice our 34 EMA, our 20 EMA have crossed down through that 50-day uh, moving average, adding some additional resistance in that level. Let's take a look at our QQQ. NASDAQ also nice surge back up yesterday, uh, pushing into some, well, some resistance here in the chart, but you'll notice that the major resistance um, in this chart is still above. We didn't quite make it all the way back up there. And as you can see, um, significant levels of resistance above that as well. And we still are overall in a downtrend here in these charts. So um, while that was a wonderful relief, I'm not sure we can count those bears out yet. So keep a close eye on that. And as you can see, all we really did yesterday is we went back up and crossed back above our 500 day moving average. Our 50 day moving average is still substantially above and our 34 EMA and 20 EMA are still 
um, cross down through that 50 day moving average. Notice our 50 day here on um, QQQ. Well, still not, still not in an upside trend. So we'll want to watch that carefully and, and just don't rule out those bears just yet. If we take a look at um, our Russell, IWM had a good day yesterday as well, bouncing up pretty strongly, but unfortunately all we did was bounce right into that price resistance. As a matter of fact, um, current trend has not been broken and of course the overall trend remains quite bearish. So we'll want to watch that carefully as we continue to press into these resistance levels in the chart. There's a little tiny resistance level right in there and then of course just a massive one that's over a year long right there. So nothing was changed here in IWM but it was a nice relief. And if we take right a look right in here notice our 50 day moving average. Um, next week is likely to cross down through the 500 day. Our 34 and our 20 EMAs have also um, already done that, providing some pretty substantial technical resistance along with that price resistance right through here. So, um, you know, just be a little bit careful thinking the all clear has been sounded. Then let's take a look at our VIX. Now, our VIX, my goodness, with that surge yesterday, our VIX pulled back strongly. At the end of the day, we ended up holding right there at that price support, right there around that 25 handle, as I've mentioned before. There's a little bit of price support right in, in that area, so we'll want to watch that carefully. And we also want to consider that we are still uptrending here in that chart. So if we were to rest right in here, consolidate, something like that, we'll watch to see if those bears re-engage. If the bulls continue to push through, then we want to see them pushing back down on down through that 25 handle into this trend and if that um, if they can push down through that trend well hey maybe we are um, ready to rally back to the upside let's watch that closely let's take a look at our t2122 now this is a little bit of a problem for us here t2122 surged so much yesterday to the upside we really don't have that far to go before we're going to be um, all the way back up here in a bearish reversal zone. But what it does tell us is that we still have room. We have upside room if we can find reason for bullishness today. And you all understand with a thousand point move in the Dow, um, we have also opened up a big opening if the bulls can't push through and if those bears re-engage. So keep a close eye on that. I would continue to expect incredible price volatility to continue in the days ahead. So trade wisely and be very, very careful. Don't don't just blindly think that um, all of the all of the tension here in the market market is over. Um, as a matter of fact, if you probably saw some of the news this morning, Facebook is going to stop hiring, um, reduce its hiring. All of these things are starting to creep forward to show us the problem. And as a matter of fact, it didn't really resolve any problems yesterday as we surged up. So did food, energy, and housing. Um, all of those prices went up yesterday. Um, continuing to put pressure on inflation. Those are the calculation calculations for um, inflation. And as we surged yesterday, we also pushed that higher. So we'll <laughs> keep a close eye on that, that possibility of stagflation, where we have a slowing economy, rising rates, and inflation continuing to rise. That is stagflation. So watch carefully for that if that circumstance were to come along. Let's take a look at our T2108. T2108 rallied nicely yesterday. Notice that we broke back through that resistance here in the chart and we're trying to push higher, but we will have to keep in mind that really nothing has changed overall on our uh, downtrend here. But it is nice to know that we did push up nicely, 40% of our stocks back above that 40 day moving average. So nice, nice change yesterday on those. If we take a look at our T2107, not as big of an improvement. Notice um, here um, the stocks coming up out of um, up above that 200 day moving average didn't quite break through resistance. The major downtrend remains in play here. And as a matter of fact, we didn't even break back through that little downtrend collapse right there. So um, improvement, but not 
not what you'd call bullish. Um, 31, 32% of the stocks above its 200 day moving average. It just means that that small cap sector really has a lot of pressure on it. We still have a lot of work here before we start to improve that area of the market. And then let's take a look at our T2101. Boy, that surge yesterday was interesting, but I gotta tell you, it, um, it, it, it it should have, um, with a thousand point move, it should have dropped us all the way back down in here on T2101. And the reason it didn't is a good portion of that move yesterday was short squeeze. So what we did is we pushed the short traders out of the market, um, at least temporarily. And um, so we didn't really see the actual volume of buying in there that we needed to see to have that um, momentum push all the way back down. So kind of keep an eye on that one as well today. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar, or excuse me, our economic calendar today. In our economic calendar, we've got a few things to pay attention to, but it's not a big major day of data here on the economic calendar. We've got OPEC meeting. That'll be important for those oil prices. If OPEC holds production um, where it is, then that could continue to see um, crude prices rise, um, adding more to inflation. If they happen to decide to increase production, well, then that may help just a little bit in bringing those cr crude prices down. Keep in mind, we've got jobless claims here this morning. We might want to start keeping an eye on this as we raise rates. We could easily start to see those employment claims start to tick just slightly higher. Um, so watch that closely and we've got those productivity and costs and we've got um, natural gas report here today fed balance sheet will be later today and we do have some short-term bond auctions that we may want to pay attention to keep in mind as you plan forward we get the employment situation number on fi friday it's not it's not uncommon that we see the market kind of get light and choppy ahead of that number. But with all the volatility, that may not be the case today. Just watch that carefully as we approach that number tomorrow morning. Then let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Whew, we got a busy one today on that old earnings calendar. Um, we're approaching 400 companies listed on the calendar, and it is a busy one. There's no way I can cover all the potential notables here, guys. So make sure you click the link below the title of the video. Make sure you get over there and grab that full list of notables that I've put together for today. We'll take a look at a few here this morning. We're going to hear from uh, Bud here today, so keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from like EOG, so some more oil and energy um, earnings uh, coming out. We're going to hear from the BDX, a big old medical industrial uh, pushing up here towards some resistance. Looks like they got a little bit of pump in uh, the pre-market here, a little bump up on their earnings report. We're going to hear from GoGo today. That'll be on the list. We've got um, HBI, HBI, little Hanes brand. So um, watch that carefully. See if that can breach that downtrend in the chart with its earnings report. We're going to hear from some um, cruise lines, RCL here today. Might want to keep an eye on that. Um, SEAS, um, SeaWorld. You'll want to keep an eye on that. Some of the bigger... Um, um, techie type uh, things that we'll want to pay attention to is Shopify. Uh, looks like Shopify uh, moving a little bit lower here this morning. So we'll want to watch that closely. And then we've got things like WW on the list. We've got Yelp on the list and we have Zillow on the list. So quite a few stocks that we'll be reporting um, throughout the course of the day and we'll want to watch those carefully. Um, we've had such a mix of results and earnings, it's kind of left the market wondering what comes next. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, once again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be useful and helpful, 
um, please do me that favor. Click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment, and that will help the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does do that. You guys are awesome. I do truly appreciate it. I do apologize that I didn't get a chance to answer those comments on Monday and Tuesday just due to the um, um, open house that we were conducting, but um, back on the case now. So thank you again for everyone who does take that time. Let's take a look at some stocks setting up. But remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to use your due, own due diligence. You need to make sure you're planning these trades very, very carefully. We should expect volatility to remain high and price action to remain challenging. Um, and we um, need to make sure that every single trade, every single trade we take is thought out carefully according to your plan and your rules. You should never ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. Now, that being said, let's take a look at a few things in here that we might want to keep an eye on. Um, as you guys know that I have mentioned UAL, a couple, um, um, I did pick this up as a trade and it closed Friday with just a little tiny profit in it. I'm looking to see if that can push on through to the upside here. We know travel stocks have been holding up pretty well. I won't guarantee that it's going to make that move happen, though. So watch that closely. Um, as we can see here, moving up in a trend, I want to see that follow through. It's been struggling here just a little bit. And with the pullback that we're seeing in the pre-market here this morning, it is also pulling back. But I keep an eye on some of those airlines, UAL, DAL, all of them are in um, uh, potential upside patterns here. Take a look at Love, LUV, some of those airlines trying to perk up. You could also look at like EXPE, Expedia as a potential short. If you look across here, this is an ugly, ugly failure here on Expedia. Um, so while we've got so many of these uh, travel stocks looking good, Expedia is not looking good at all, breaking down through this support. So any rally back into here, I would be watching for that next opportunity to maybe take that on lower. Keep an eye on Expedia for a short. Um, I know Jim Cramer is coming out and saying he loves the banks. He uh, loves the banks. Well, I don't. Um, unfortunately, um, I just don't see any love in the banks here yet. Overall trend is down. Now, can that reverse? Absolutely. But I'm going to wait for that reversal to occur before I would join that crowd saying, yep, it's time to buy the banks. Um, at this point in time, as a matter of fact, what I would be watching here is that possibility of failure. As we push back toward these resistance levels, watch for that potential failure and short pattern here on some of these big banks. If you take a look at BAC, BAC pushing back up into that downtrend resistance in the chart. I would be watching these carefully for that potential that they could roll over and continue to fail. Remember, banks are struggling heavily here. And um, and I mean struggling heavily here because all of a sudden mortgage applications and mortgage work has dried up substantially. So watch that carefully. We'll see. And rising rates does not necessarily help banks because it slows the economy. It slows the demand for borrowing. So watch those big banks carefully. There is possibility that they could cross out but I would be really careful to think that we have sounded the all clear here in those financials. Then let's take a look at a couple others. Now, some of the defensive sector stocks um, are holding up really, really well. Take a look at Clorox. Now, I'm biased on Clorox because I'm holding this position right now. What I'm looking for is to see if that can push on through and maybe fill this gap here in that trade. I can't say that's going to occur. Obviously, we're still struggling with some price resistance resistance in the chart. And with a pullback that we're seeing a, a little bit this morning, this may also struggle. So just keep an eye on that. But if you take a look at some of the food prices out there, take a look at like Hershey. Hershey, really strong rally back yesterday. Now, this is not um, out in the clear yet. Still working that downtrend. We need to see this pop out and hold 
and then we have some opportunity in those but we saw some of those food stocks really starting to move back up yesterday um, some of those uh, defensive sector uh, consumer defensive stocks now take a look at Tyson here on the other side of that equation we have Tyson rallying up to the downtrend here in the chart and I got to tell you there's quite a little bit of price resistance so we've got a mix going on here that possibility that Tyson could fail here at resistance and move on back down so watch that carefully again that's going to have to pop out and hold before I would have any interest long there on Tyson. Um, so keep a close eye on this. We've got that mix that is, well, it's just kind of uncertain out there as to whether or not they will continue to move up. However, if we take a look at energy, energy is, well, to use a pun, it's on fire. And as you can see, continuing to move strongly higher. And we're seeing um, um, stocks like ExxonMobil made a huge move yesterday, breaking out and that possibility here. ExxonMobil can just keep moving to the upside. Now, I don't know that I would chase this here, but a little rest or pullback in there to hold that support, then we look like we resume the upside trend. And you can see stocks like AR really moving up nicely. Um, EOG pushing up, trying to break out. Um, um, MUR, Murphy Oil. It's been struggling in here against resistance a little bit. We'll want to keep an eye on that. This is one that could falter a little bit, but keep, a, keep an eye on it. And then if we look over in the natural gas area, oh my goodness. Um, my UNG trade um, is almost embarrassingly profitable at this point as this continues to surge. And I really don't think this is going to change because of all of the complications over there in Ukraine, Russia, the um, expanding uh, sanctions against Russia on oil and gas. We'll want to watch that closely, that possibility this could keep moving up. Now, I wouldn't chase into this right now. What I would do if I wanted to get involved in this is wait for a little rest or pullback in that stock to see if I could catch um, my way in. Take a look at um, KMI. KMI is a natural gas pipeline, and that's mostly natural gas pipeline. So watch that carefully here. This is trying to break back through some resistance in the chart. Now we need to see that proof that it can hold and maybe KMI can go ahead and follow this upside trend to the upside. Watch that closely. Boil would be another um, the one to watch this thing just wow um, stretching 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 as natural gas prices continue to move up so there's a few things for you to take a look at I would be really really cautious and careful thinking that the all clear has been sounded yet remember we are still in an overall downtrend I want to predominantly trade with the direction of the overall trend. So that means I still want to be um, watching and looking out for some of those short positions in the market until this changes. So with that, everyone, I wish you all of the best. Have an awesome, awesome day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning.